Toilets are usually super boring and functional items, and frankly, that's just fine. For most of us, going for a wee is something we do many times a day with as little fuss and fanfare as possible. So do you really care what kind of toilet you do it in? Well, it turns out for some people, toilets are a really serious business. In fact, there are some extremely dedicated individuals out there who have decided to make toilets a much more exciting and unusual thing. And we've tracked down a few of the best ones for you, you lucky people. From a urinal with lips to an enormous slide that promotes the wonders of lavatories to people in poop-shaped hats, here are 20 weirdest toilets ever made. Number 20. The Kisses Urinal as if standing in a publicish space with your privates out and then having to actually pee without getting stage fright wasn't tricky enough, how about sticking said privates into a giant red lipsticked mouth? Not in the fun way, though. This is the so-called Kisses Urinal, which is rather suggestively shaped like a lady's cake hole. Although, frankly, those teeth make it slightly intimidating, to say the least. The work of a Dutch designer named Miek van Schindel, a mouth-shaped urinal, was created in the year 2000, and obviously, it's drawn a rather lot of attention. and so has been since featured on CNN. In what capacity, I'm not sure. Presumably, they didn't have Wolf Blitzer demonstrated or anything. Heaven forbid. Now, I can't unsee that image in my head. How wonderful. The urinal then made an appearance in the hilarious movie Rock of Ages, which starred Tom Cruise. And then, oddly enough, the same porcelain pissoir has made its way on the perennially popular TV series Storage Wars. So, take aim, I guess. Although, you'll probably feel just just the tiniest bit weird peeing into this particular urinal. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Well, how about a urinal that taunts the heck out of you while you try to pee? If you already suffer from stage fright when it comes to peeing at a urinal, then these photographs along the wall behind each pissoir will no doubt give you a permanent shyness issue. What do you think? Would you feel intimidated by these images of women peering at your junk? What about the one with the tape measure? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Swarovski Crystal Toilet now, it may seem as though the calls for a crystal-covered toilet would be few and far between, but it also seems as though there might be a market for these super expensive, super shiny, ridiculously lavish latrines. Not only were they apparently launched back in 2008 as part of a matching bathroom set by designer Jamal Wright, these toilets could be picked up at Home Depot of all places for the tidy sum of $75,000. Clearly, the ostentious bottom rest was more popular than you might have been anticipating. In 2011, another fancy lavatory was put on display in Tokyo, Japan, where this time around it was a Swarovski crystal studied throne from the building material company known as Lixel Corp. That Japanese John was covered in 72,000 pieces of the shiniest crystal, and it took a whole month to assemble and decorate the toilet before it went on display. It is serious business indeed. Anyways, this particular potty was apparently not for sale, but an estimated 128,000 dollars would anyone want it perhaps you would like one number 18 souls stunning sky high urinals well, there's nothing like an exhilarating view from the top of a tower on top of a mountain, but the opportunity to take a whiz as you take in the view, now that is special, if you happen to like that sort of thing. Nowadays, you can basically find almost anything that you might be able to imagine. There are opportunities to do all manner of things in any place that you can dream up. Swimming with sharks? Well, everyone's done that. Base jumping off a building? Tell me something new. But this here? This is peeing on a whole city. <laughs> kind of. This is the men's room at the top of the In Seoul Tower, which is located on the top of Namsan Mountain in Seoul. From one side, you can look out across the city, and from the other, a bunch of mountain views. Number 17. The Toilet House 
Some people are really dedicated to their work. I mean, really, really, really. So this guy built a house in South Korea that looks like a toilet. Of course, naturally. Why wouldn't you want to live in a huge toilet bowl? Back in 2007, one Mr. Sim Jai Deok built the toilet house with a goal in mind, because what better way to promote proper bathroom hygiene around the whole entire world than to build a big toilet-shaped house in South Korea to live in? Well, yes, it seems obvious now, doesn't it? The guy was the chairman and founder of the World Toilet Association, so you could say that he made it his business to poke about in other people's business. He was completely obsessed with the importance of sanitation and the promotion of clean public restrooms. These are, without a doubt, very important things, but who knew that there were individuals who made it their life's work? Or, for that matter, loved lose so much that they would actually live in one. Anyways, according to him, the necessity for toilet hygiene is a message that he wants to spread around the world, and that we can all agree, I'm sure, is a better way than spreading gross toilet germs all over the place. Do you believe in something so much that you would build your home to get your message out there? Is this a viable means of communication? Go on, have an opinion about it in the comments section down below. Number 16. Flower-Shaped Urinals more novelty urinals for your eyeballs, where this time we're taking aim and tiddling into beautiful flowers. How sweet! A hilariously titled Nature's Call exhibition was an art installation in San Francisco back in 2005. Each of the urinals were one-of-a-kind pieces of artwork, but they are also fully functional and can be purchased and plumbed in, used like any other pissoir. The artist who created these unusual works is Clark Sorensen. He says that the process of hand-building, firing, and and glazing the urinals was a painstaking task, each one utterly unique, taking months to complete. He says that he would be inspired while standing in front of a urinal many times every day. He had the ideas of shapes just come to him. He saw flowers, and shells, mouths, and shoes. In the end, he decided to focus on the flower shapes because he especially enjoyed the idea of taking a mundane, everyday object and turning it into something beautiful. Well, that's one way of looking at it. But to be honest, do any of us especially care how beautifully shaped a urinal is? Be honest, does this kind of thing keep you awake at night? Number 15. The Dagobert Toilet Throne now, if you're bored of regular old toilets, then you'll no doubt be absolutely thrilled to find out that you can actually purchase a replica Royal Loo for your home, and it will even play you a little tune while you tinkle. This is the utterly absurd King Dagobert toilet, which is allegedly a replica of the lavatory used by King Dagobert, who apparently ruled France between 629 AD and 638 AD. So if a throne-like throne is your cup of tea, then this could very well be the porcelain for you, my friend. Not only is this ludicrous loo shaped like a wooden throne, when you lift the lid, it plays a silly old song. This thing is over five feet tall, made from wood and porcelain, and even has a pull chain flush. And best of all, it has a speaker inside of it that plays the French children's song Le Bon Roi Dagobert, the good King Dagobert, if you will. Novelty toilets are all well and good, but one that lets you poop like a king? Well, that's some next level bathroom nonsense. Number 14, the toilet slide. Obviously, this is in Japan, because where else? Crowds of Japanese families lining up to pop on hats shaped like poos and taking a slide into a massive toilet. Sounds like a weird art show, or even a fever dream. But no, it was an area at an educational expo in Tokyo, which was designed to give visitors an increased appreciation of toilets. The exhibition was called Toilet, Human Waste and Earth's Future, and it was essentially a celebration of all things fecal. There were poop mascots who were there to encourage visitors to gain an increased appreciation of their digestive systems and the wonderful world of the toilet. There was also a feces ambassador. And then they even had a character who was named Wipey, whose main purpose in life was flushing things. And then a whole host of cartoon characters who were there to teach visitors how to examine their own poop for an indication of their bowel health. What a fun one! Now, while it is true that a good toilet is nothing to be sniffed at, it does seem that there may be a collection of individuals for whom toilets are something more than a passing interest. Number 13. Golden Toilet with Most Diamonds 
If there was anywhere in the world that you might expect to find a golden diamond studded toilet, then Dubai might be that place. Or perhaps Trump Tower. The world record for the most number of diamonds set on a toilet bowl goes to this crazy creation that would be unveiled at Dubai's amazing museum and art gallery. So breaking world records is a bit of a mixed bag of skills and just putting a lot of something in one place at the same time. This particular world record falls most firmly into the latter category. Frankly, any one of us could cover a Kazi in gold and diamonds, if we had a lot of gold and diamonds, that is. And you'd be forgiven for wondering whether this is the absolute best use of these resources. This diamond-encrusted toilet seat is studded with a mind-boggling 40,815 diamonds and a total of 334 carats. That adds up to a cool $1.28 million, all for a toilet bowl. You know, the the place where people sit down and take care of business. I mean, you can't even see the toilet when you're sitting on it, so it probably doesn't really matter if it's shiny and gold or even heliotrope for all that actually does for the functionality of this essential item. Anyways, yet again, this is one of those crazy things that just goes to show there may in fact be a thing as too much money. Number 12. Solid gold toilet stolen from Britain's Blenheim Palace. In the niche world of the Golden Laboratory, things are rather unusual already. I mean, just the idea of sitting on a solid gold throne is beyond daft to most mere mortals like myself, and this particular Golden Lou is one of the most famous toilets on Earth. Artist Maurizio Catalan's infamous solid gold toilet has been making waves since it was first unveiled in 2016. The artist is known for his satirical view of the art world and his ability to manipulate and mock the very people who are buying his work. The Guggenheim Museum in New York City had the gold toilet, which was titled America, in its collection when Donald Trump moved into the White House. He requested a loan of a Van Gogh painting from the art museum, and they offered him the Golden Lou. It's not as if he kept his penchant for golden objects a secret now, is it? Anyways, he declined the offer, and the 18 karat piece was ultimately installed at Blenheim Palace in the United Kingdom. The toilet was plumbed in and became fully functioning, adding a bizarre twist to tiddling on a day trip to the stately home. But the tail of the toilet did not end there. In 2019, the well-publicized receptacle was stolen from the palace, and nobody has seen any sign of it ever since. Since it was worth an estimated 4.8 million pounds, there's no doubt that whoever stole that thing is now feeling pretty flush indeed. Number 11. The Millennium Falcon Okay, well, to each their own. This is a toilet that's been modified by a chap who's really into Star Wars. So much so, it would seem, that he can't even bear the thought of parking his posterior on an unthemed lavatory. It's all good in humor, though. A lightsaber toilet brush is an hilarious addition to the otherwise boring old bathroom. I hate to be the germ nerd, but just how do you keep the Millennium Falcon toilet lid clean? All of those nooks and crannies. Just imagine the party the toilet germs could have in there. It doesn't bear thinking about. Good luck to this guy and his passion for Star Wars, though. He's evidently an extremely dedicated individual that should be appreciated, even if you would hold your pee all day rather than touch his toilet seat. Number 10. The I Poo Toilet now, if you struggle to do anything at all, unless the object with which you're interacting bears the famous Apple logo, then this ridiculous lavatory is going to come as quite the relief to you. The iPu toilet is clearly a parody of the obsession that many have with the products from that particular company, but to be honest, even though it is kind of funny, it's also a silly joke. The whole thing is shaped like the Apple logo, it's shiny like an iPad, and says that it's made from the same stuff. The seat, so they say, is as thin as a MacBook Air. The designers also state that although it functions in exactly the same way as any other old toilet, they'll charge you twice as much for it. All very funny indeed, but before all of you Apple obsessive people rush out to buy one, you should know, this is a joke advertisement, not a genuine toilet, nor an actual Apple product. In fact, the creators of the iPoo probably risked getting sued just in making the joke alone in the first place. Number 9. NASA's Space Station Toilet 
probably the most expensive toilet ever. This is the newly designed toilet that's been recently sent to the International Space Station. In the year 2020, NASA sent this shiny new space loo out into space for use on board the ISS and then, in future, on deep space missions. This toilet took all of six years and $23 million to be developed by NASA. The thing must be the most elaborate and pricey porta potty that's ever existed. So what do you get for that kind of money? Well, surely it sings you a song and wipes your bottom for you at the very least, right? Well, not exactly. The space toilet is kind of like a wee and poo hoover. It relies on suction to keep things hygienic. You know, with no gravity, the simple act of doing a wee is suddenly dangerously risky business. You don't want a laboratory malfunction to wind up with everyone's gross stuff floating around the space station. Nobody wants to see that. So the space toilet has a hose with a funnel attachment, which the astronauts pee into. This has a fan that pulls the piddle into a tank. To do a poo, the astronauts have to sit over a tank that has that same fan mechanism. The poop then gets sealed into a bag and held in a canister, and this canister holds about 30 bags. Then the whole lot is emptied out with the trash into space. There are literally bags of astronaut poop floating around in outer space. Number 8. The Aquarium Toilets here we are again in Japan, the land of toilet appreciation and fecal fascination, where this time the toilet that I'm talking about is one that has somehow become one of Japan's top tourist attractions. The Hippo Papa Cafe is in Akashi, Japan, and they decided that they needed more than anything a toilet that was surrounded floor to ceiling by an aquarium. Well, why not? It does make perfect sense. The aquarium lavatory is actually just the women's bathroom, but apparently the owners allow men to go in and have a look at it if the restaurant is quiet enough. But no sitting on the toilet, though. That's for ladies only. So the ladies who happen to need a tinkle while visiting the restaurant are fortunate enough to be able to enjoy a full view of a massive fish tank while they tittle. The fish, on the other hand, don't really have a choice in the matter. They're basically forced to watch women peeing all the live long day, which is weird to say the least. The queue for this toilet must be ridiculous though. Everyone who goes inside probably sits there for way too long, either through getting hypnotized by the fish or by getting stage fright from being stared at by them. But what do you think? Would you wee in this loo? Or is it all a bit off-putting? Let's discuss the ins and outs of novelty toilets in the comments section down below. Number seven, the fish and flush. From being surrounded by fish while on the toilet to now keeping your fish in the toilet. Not in the way that you might have held a goldfish's funeral, but in the tank itself. I know, it's ever so slightly silly. Back in 2006, some bright spark came up with the idea of building an aquarium on the toilet. Well, in the toilet. I couldn't tell you if they dreamed up the notion while sitting there, but chances are, don't you have all your good ideas when you're sitting on the toilet? For some people, it's a great place to do their very best thinking. Anyways, this is the so-called fish and flush. It debuted at the kitchen and bath industry show in Chicago all the way back in 2006, and it certainly turned a few heads with its wacky design. Although the fish do appear to be inside the tank, they are actually in no danger of really being flushed. The water to flush the toilet is in a separate container. Beyond that, this is essentially just a fish tank on a toilet. So, you know, it's hardly rocket science, even if it is a bit weird. Funny though, I've never seen one of these in real life, have you? Perhaps that idea didn't catch on. Uh, ahead of its time, no doubt. Number 6. The Love Toilet now for another joke toilet, but this time it's one of my favorite silly sketches from Saturday Night Live. In a spoof commercial from back in 1991, Kevin Nealon and Victoria Jackson are inseparable lovers. They do absolutely everything together. So the commercial goes, why waste any time apart at all? The double toilet allows lovers to do literally everything together, even pooping. It's very silly indeed, like all SNL stuff is really, but that studio audience sounds 
sounds like they're having a whale of a time. Although this is a daft sketch from a bazillion years ago, it has naturally found its way back onto the internet, and the lover's toilet is now the subject of a bunch of memes. Because of course it is. Number 5. Japan's High-Tech Toilets the fancy toilets in Japan are pretty famous all around the world. High-tech toilets have been commonplace in Japan for many years and are now more frequently found than boring old traditional toilets. With a whole bunch of buttons and snazzy features, super toilets are much more than just a receptacle for bodily waste. These things provide more services than a luxury car wash. Even the basic models offer the sitter a range of such wondrous delights as anal cleansing, bidet washing, deodorization, and the utterly essential seat warming. How the world has survived without such basics is a mystery to me. We've been living like animals, and it's time we stopped parking our posteriors all willy-nilly without a proper bottom-washing facility, let alone on a chilly old chamber pot. I mean, who doesn't want a nice anal cleanse? The sheer number of buttons and options are likely to boggle the basic brain, so before you engage with a tech toilet, make sure you clear your schedule, or you simply won't have time to explore all the wonders of the multiple flush options which are based on the specific type of deposit that you've made, or how about the integrated bidet selections with the inspiringly titled choices of oscillating, pulsing, and rear and or soft functions. You'll wonder how you ever lived without it. Number 4. Thermochromic Urinal is this actually a real thing? Or are we looking at some sort of concept piece which is simply the fantasy of an 11-year-old boy who wants nothing more than to be able to draw stuff with their pee? Who can possibly say? The internet is full of this same image over and over and over with next to no information, but whatever. Who even cares about facts? Or anything as boring as that when peeing into a multicolored toilet is even an idea, let alone a reality. So what we have here with next to no actual information information is what appears to be some kind of tech nerd people, a thermochromic urinal. This, they say, is a urinal that's been coated in a color-changing thermochromic paint, which means that warm pee will turn the back of the urinal a jolly red slash orange color until it cools and goes back to boring old blue again. Just imagine all the hilarious things you could draw with your willy if only you can save up enough pee. Number 3. Modern Toilet Restaurant now, call me old-fashioned, but I was brought up not to eat food in the bathroom. That's not to say that I never did, because later in life, I've even been known to drink coffee and eat sandwiches in the shower. It's not a thing anymore, though. Well, as far as you know. Apparently, some people have never heard of that idea, so they went right ahead and made a completely horrific restaurant with an appallingly unappetizing name and the decor to match. This is actually a chain of restaurants with branches all across Hong Kong and Taiwan. There are 12 of these places and counting, but who is eating in them and why. This is literally a poo-themed restaurant, and I'm not kidding. There is so much poor finalia in this place, the interior decorators have really gone to town on the scatological theming, and it's absolutely disgusting. So restaurant goers actually sit on toilets at the table, the tables contain fake poos, the walls are covered in pictures of people sitting on the toilet, and when you order some food, it's delivered to your table, presented in a miniature toilet bowl, and a good deal of the food on their menu is actually designed to look as much like poop as possible. And if you find that you can't possibly leave without one more plop, well you can purchase all kinds of turd-based treasure from the gift shop. So classy! Who thinks this sh** up? Number 2. Eurolift Pop-Up Toilet In many modern city centers around the world, you may begin to notice these unusual features popping up. Quite literally. Unlike traditional public conveniences, the Eurolift Pop-Up Toilet tucks away neatly when it's not in use in the ground. Sounds slightly bizarre, but actually has a lot of benefits. For starters, nobody wants to look at a smelly old urinal cluttering up an otherwise beautiful historic city square. 
Secondly, it prevents vandalism, which is commonplace in public conveniences, as I'm sure you're well aware of, you hooligans. And thirdly, the general novelty of the toilet rising up from beneath the sidewalk may in fact be sufficient to encourage even those people who may have consumed an adult beverage or five to use the toilet and not to tittle on any old storefront, much to the relief of shop owners everywhere. Oh, and these things are also apparently self-cleaning, whatever that may mean. So what do you think about keeping the smellier aspects of the city life hidden beneath the street? Is this the future of public urination? Number one, Krafla Toilet in Iceland. So this toilet is technically not an actual working toilet at all, but it is connected to a super interesting place, so it's worth a look. The bathroom at Krafla in Iceland is part of an experiment that was run there between 2009 and 2011, in which the facilities were exploring the possibilities of geothermal heat. This is where they use the heat from inside the Earth, obtained directly from terrestrial magma in order to produce energy. It is a pretty crazy and snazzy idea, and one that would be seriously useful in the modern world as we try to find alternative energy sources. So these researchers at Krafla paved the way for some of this technology by investigating these geothermal business. One of the ways that they did this was to install a shower, which was heated entirely using geothermal energy. The so-called bathroom at Krafla is located in a remote place with nothing else around it. So it really looks rather incongruous sitting out there in the middle of nowhere. But the shower is fully functional and dispenses hot water. There's also a basin and then, for good measure, somebody put a toilet there to complete the set, although the toilet is an art piece and not a plumbed in and useful thing. So no wheeze, please. Well, what a lot of lavatories. Who knew the world of toilets was so varied or unusual? Which of these weirdest ever toilets would you like to try out? And what's the weirdest toilet you've ever come across? As always, let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.